The third one for me was just weird. You know, it's a, I didn't, I didn't root for anybody in that picture. I didn't. I don't think the time was taken to find somebody to really, really root for. And I think that's the only mistake of it, because it's impressive as hell to look at. But at the end of the day, you really need to, you know, invest an audience with a reason to care. Boy, I don't know. I, I, the, the third one was so nihilistic. I mean, I, that word really fits it. It's like a, it has so many negatives going for it. Like, uh, it, it kind of broke the back of, when you have guys in prison that are there for real crimes, like, you know, rape and murder and all of these things. I mean, even Dutton's character had done some horrific things. And you were asked through the movie to be sympathetic to him. And then, uh, and then Sigourney is in there, and she's sleeping with the, the doctor who has injected and killed all these people. And, and everybody was such a, a, a kind of despicable character. And, and for Sigourney, in a way, in all her other movies, I'm not saying that we thought of her as a virgin, but we, thought, we certainly thought of her as a pure soul, you know, a pure heart. And, and for her to suddenly be in a prison and falling, you know, getting weak to this guy was like, oh, ow. I've only seen it the once. Basically, I felt it was a missed opportunity. I felt that the franchise and the needs of the franchise, of seeing it purely as a franchise, had taken over what was wonderful about the, about the actual special about the first two and what would have been special about the third one. So I thought it was more or less coherent, had some style to it, did, but wasn't special. And I felt that one and two were. And yet I think David is a very good director, you know, and obviously he's shown himself since, as we all have. If you ask me what should have been done differently in the film, my only answer could be is to, tr to have trusted David Finch's original um, vision. I can't remember the particulars, um, but, um, uh, you know, a lot of people like it, but uh, I think they would have liked it much, much more uh, if, if it were David's movie. I think he's been vindicated as well. I mean, not only that, I think the picture, from what I could see, was good. Um, and I think as well, I'm, I'm glad to see that, um, you know, that, that the opinion of it amongst viewers and amongst just ordinary people in the last 10 years uh, seems to have grown, you know, people's perception of it, people's regard for its qualities has, has actually improved. You know, it's, it's become a picture that was perhaps, you know, now is viewed as very underrated. Everyone was, you know, say, oh, the first and the second one were better. <laughs> and it's like, well, maybe they were, maybe they weren't. I'm not quite sure. I do know that if this film wasn't following the other two, it would have probably gotten more acclaim than it did. Because mm -hmm. I, I thought as a movie, on a, as a standalone, it was great. Unfortunately, you're, you know, you're following in the footsteps of Cameron and, and, and Ridley's. Right. Mm -hmm. tough, shoes, tough shoes to fill.